Why is it spicy? This is by far my favorite Princess Polly haul I have done yet. I am a little bit sick because I definitely got way too crunk on the weekend. My voice is paying for it right now. So if you're wondering why I have even more rasp than I usually do, that's why. I decided to switch it up a little bit and get two angles for this video for you guys so you can see the clothes up close and hopefully you get a better idea of what it looks like. Everything in this haul is something I would wear over and over again. So I am so excited to show you these things. Princess Polly gave me a discount code for you guys and that is SJTOD for 20% off. Okay, I can't figure out how to get the app to go into US dollars. So I'm going to be saying this in Australian dollars, guys. That means that if you're in the US, it should be about half the prices that I am saying. This top that I am wearing right now is called the Vintage Tie Up Top. I got it in an Australian 14 and it was $50. So right off the bat, it's made out of satin. I always like to go size 14 in Princess Polly, but maybe I'm going to have to start going size 12 because your girl been losing weight. <laughs> Why don't I just do <laughs> the Hunger Games thing? <laughs> My mom said it looked like something that someone would wear in the 20s as a little nightgown cover up, which I think is super cute. But how cute is this little tie up? So you get like a little peek of your bobbies. I'm going to be rating everything for its fit, its quality, and its aesthetic. And for each one, I'll be rating it out of five yeah. stars. So hopefully you guys can get a better idea of how I really feel about the piece. For the fit, I'd probably rate it a seven out of 10. Honestly, for the quality, I'm going to do 10 out of 10. And for the aesthetic, 10 out of 10. Like I could not floor this. This is such a cute, unique style that I really haven't seen around much. So I am loving it. And the next thing that I'm wearing underneath this is a bralette that I got. This bralette is called the Washington Bralette in white and it is $40. This bralette is super duper cute. The lace is really nice. Obviously with things like this, you're going to have to wash it in a little lingerie bag. I usually destroy every lace item of clothing I own. Actually, I destroy every item of clothing I own. I drop food on myself every day, at least once every day, and I can't stop. This definitely does not have a premium amount of support. So for girls with bigger boobies, you're gonna be able to see them hang a little bit. You're gonna, they're gonna be hanging natural. They're not really gonna be held up. I'm not mad about a natural hang for any of my girls in the itty bitty titty committee. This bralette would look super good on you. It probably would have enough support for you guys to wear and not have to worry about it as well. For the fit, I'd say 10 out of 10. It is definitely a true size 14 in my opinion. For the quality, I'd probably say a six to seven out of 10, just because I wish it had a little bit more support. For the aesthetic, I can't fault it. It looks exactly like it did in the photo, so. I'm happy with that part of it. Next thing that I actually styled with this outfit, but I'm wearing trackies right now because there is no way I'm sitting down in a skirt to film a whole entire video. This skirt, how cute is this? How? So this is called the Shelly mini skirt in blue and it is $45. Something that I've always been scared to wear is mini skirts. I've never felt comfortable with them, but I've always thought they were the cutest thing in the world. So I really wanted to get a couple of mini skirts and I just thought that I was going to feel so confident in this one. It doesn't have a stretchy waist. So make sure if you want to pick this one up that you are getting the right size for yourself and using the size guide on the website. I was wearing bright red Christmas undies when I tried this on and you could not see them at all. This is probably one of the first times I felt really cute in a mini skirt before. So I have no faults for this. So let's give it a rating. For the fit, I'll give it a nine out of 10, just because maybe a little bit short at the back, but it's it would look weird if it was, no, I, I, I give it a 10 out of 10. For the quality, I'd give it, I'd give it eight out of 10 for quality. For the aesthetic, I give it an 11 out of 10. I, it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Why am I becoming like a pastel girl? I have never been a pastel girl in my entire life, but 
I really am starting to edge towards that kind of style, which I'm not mad about. So the next item is actually a pair of shoes, heels to be exact. These are the Bellini Yacinta heel and they were $89.95 Australian dollars. And I got them in a size eight. These are super nice quality. They have the little gold Bellini logo here and also under here. I have wide feet. Honestly, this strap right here was a little bit of a squeeze. I love the little square bottom. It's so vintage looking and the little block heel. Oh, these are so freaking cute. I'm going to wear the heck out of these. They're not too high that they're going to be super uncomfortable. Just need to put a little bit of heel balm on before I wear them because you know I got them crusty heels. I'd rate them a 7.5 out of 10 for the fit because I'm low-key angry that not enough shoes fit wide-footed girls, and I wish that they had an option for an 8.5, which is a bit of a wider shoe. For the quality, 10 out of 10. These Bellini shoes are awesome. I have another pair and they look brand new still. And aesthetic, 15 out of 10. This is the Lucy mini dress, or Lucky. L-U-C-C-I. I got it in a 14 and it was 50 Australian dollars. This dress is beautiful. I wasn't wearing it with a bra in the picture because it actually has a second layer and that just covers your boobs, which actually gave me quite a bit of support. And I probably feel comfortable with wearing this without a bra. This little bandana inspired design is so pretty. Like I said, I'm going for pastels and then I'm like, I'm really into slits lately. I feel like a slit just completely amps up an outfit. You look so much more put together. I was worried this was gonna be straight up and down, but the way that it sits on you, it actually does kind of fall loose and accentuate your waist, but then it's tight around the bum. This also has little adjustable straps. But yeah, so for the fit of this one, I'd say 9.5 out of 10 for the fit because I think it falls really, really nicely. For the quality, I'm gonna say a nine out of 10. For the aesthetic, eight out of 10, because I feel like this isn't everyone's cup of tea. I personally myself think it's a 10 out of 10. Now, when I say I screamed when I saw this top, I literally screamed. So this top is called the Mio cardigan. I got it in a large to extra large and it was 60 Australian dollars. So something insane about this is the quality. Don't know if it's gonna translate how nice the quality of this is. It kind of seems like something you'd spend a lot more money on. It fits really, really perfect, like exactly how I wanted it to. And it's just warm, it's nice and soft, it's not scratchy, I hate scratchy sweaters. I am gonna wear the heck out of this while it is still cold and probably gonna force myself to wear it in summer and boil my tits off, just because I like it that much. So for the fit of this, 10 out of 10. For the quality of this, Literally like 15 out of 10 and for the aesthetic 10 out of 10. It is so cute I shot myself when I found these because I was so excited to get them. They are called the Aniston patchwork wide leg denim jeans I got them in a size 14 and they were $90. Can we take a minute to look at this awesome patchwork design of these jeans? Here's what they look like at the front and here's what they look like at the back I love dark wash so much more than light wash and I think that's an unpopular opinion. For the length of them, I am 5'6 and they are perfect length, exactly at my ankles, exactly where I want them. It is really tight on the waist and bum, so it gives you that gorgeous like curvy figure, which I love. They probably would be more comfortable if they had a bit of stretch. These do not stretch at all. So be careful. <laughs> I did struggle to get my thighs in these. And for that reason, for the fit of these, I would rate them six out of 10. Just because I really think that all jeans should just have a little bit of stretch. For the quality though, I'd say like an eight to nine out of 10. And for the aesthetic, 10 out of 10. Like I think these are awesome. I have loved this patchwork trend for so long, but I feel like I've never been able to find an affordable pair of patchwork jeans 
these patchwork jeans are going to be my go-to. This is the Western denim jacket in beige and I got it in a large to extra large and it was 85 Australian dollars. Love this. It is nice and worn denim. It feels like you got it at an op shop. It's like they battered it. So it's not going to be uncomfortable and cold on your skin. Even the little brass buttons are such a nice touch. I love the oversized fit. It is a perfect oversized jacket. This is so easy to style. It literally goes with everything. It has these nice pockets at the front. It also has pockets down here. Oh, they're like, oh, I hate when that happens. They're like half sewn up pockets. Why does that have to be sewn up? Why are they sewn up? I don't understand the logic in that whatsoever. For the fit of this, I would say 10 out of 10, I think it's an awesome fit. I love how it has all these little details so you can adjust the fit as well. For the quality, eight out of 10. We do not like sewn up pockets. For the aesthetic, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. It is a little bit basic, but that means it's gonna go with everything and you're not gonna have trouble styling it. This is what I wore under that denim jacket. It is actually a bodysuit. Still has the little pousse cover. This is called the Levy Levy bodysuit in black. I got it in a 14, of course, and it was $48. Okay, amazing bodysuit. I hardly can ever find bodysuits that do not go right up my Gucci. And this doesn't go up it. It fits perfectly. It feels comfortable. It doesn't have a G-string bum, which I hate G-strings. Of course, it has the clasps at the bottom, so you don't have to get completely naked in the bathroom. It's stretching, so it's giving you that lift that you need and you don't have to wear a bra with it. Oh, and don't even get me started on the way this hugs your waist. Like, this was a whole ass hourglass moment in this. For the fit of this, I would give it a 10 out of 10 because I never find bodysuits that don't go on my cooch. Quality, maybe the straps could be a little bit stronger, but they're not gonna break. I'm just being picky at this point. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. And for the aesthetic, it is a bit more basic. So we'll give it like a seven out of 10. This next item, I actually got a little bit of coconut oil on because I like moisturizing my body with coconut oil. You know your girl's dry as heck. I have really dry skin. I hate it. So this top here is the Pedro top in lilac. Oh, and it was only 35 Australian dollars. This is so comfortable. I want this in every single color just because of how comfortable it is. It's a very soft thin flouncy material and it just buttons up at the front so you could wear it as a little cardi if you wanted. Also the buttons are super cute. They're like these reflective. They kind of look like a mother of pearl. Only thing is if you don't want your bra to show through because it is a thinner material you'd need to wear a t-shirt bra with this. For the fit of this I would rate it a 10 out of 10. It's cropped. It falls exactly where I want it and because it's stretchy it like hugs you a little bit. For the quality I'd give it an 8 out of 10 just because it is a bit on the thinner side you do need to make sure you're wearing the right bra with it <laughs> ignore my testy pops i don't have a testy for the aesthetic of this i'd say it's a 9 out of 10 it is basic but it's a super cute color and with that top i wore this skirt this is the motel shenny skirt wildflower lemon drop cute name that's like jamie oliver's children's name now the sad thing about this is it's a size 14, so a size extra large. This ain't a 14. This is definitely gonna need taking in, which is unfortunate. And it's also a little bit too long. It's so cute. I'm definitely gonna do the sewing. I'm not gonna get rid of this. I did have to iron it though, because it does get a little bit crinkly. The print of this is just super cute. I love the yellow and purple together. And I love the way the little purple flowers go with this purple top. That. I don't know what went on with the sizes there because this is like two sizes too big. For the fit of this, I'd give it a 1 out of 10. For the quality, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And for the aesthetic, I would give it a 9 out of 10 because this fabric is super cute, super vintage looking. Last thing, which I am so excited for, so excited for, I got these sketches. Love sketches so much. 
Sketches are like the best shoes in the world. They literally have memory foam soles. I am a girl of comfort. I want to feel like I'm walking on a cloud. Sketches make me feel that. I got made fun of for wearing sketches when I was in school. And look at you all now. It's trending now. I was that OG. These are the Sketches Delights 3.0 Proven Force White Navy and Red. And they were $65. And I got these in a size 8.5. They're nice and thick and wide, which is what my feet need. I love chunky shoes. For the fit of these, I'd give them a 10 out of 10. For the quality of these, I couldn't really tell yet. I'm probably gonna have to wear them a bit. And for the aesthetic, I'd give them an eight out of 10 because they're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. My throat is literally quaking, so I'm gonna just go gobble a pack of soothers right now. So let me know if you like the scoring system where I score things on their fit, quality, and aesthetic. Let me know if you guys prefer that from my normal try on videos and let me know what you think about the two different angles because I thought it looked really cute but maybe you guys hate it. <laughs> Make sure if you guys want to pick up any of these items they're all in the description box down below. I was a size 14 for everything and if you guys want 20% off enter the coupon code SJTOD for 20% off excluding sale. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join this crazy little family of psycho bitches. <laughs> Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot. And also follow me on Instagram to see some of these fits on there at Suzy J Todd. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah. No, come a little closer. Mwah. There we go. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.